so today we will talk about balancing redox reactions. We will start first balancing a redox reaction in acidic medium. The first example we will discuss is the permanganate with iron 2. So the reaction of permanganate and iron 2, that's going to give the manganese 2 plus iron 3 plus. So now, how are we going to balance this reaction? We are going to follow these steps. Before following these steps, we are going to split this reaction into two half equations. So the first one, MnO4 minus, is going to give me Mn2 plus. So we split it uh, according to the uh, reactants and their corresponding products. And the second half equation will be the iron 2 plus is going to give me the iron 3 plus. Now I'm going to balance these two half equations and later I sum them and I will get the balanced redox reaction, overall redox reaction. So how am I going to balance these half equations using these steps? So the first step is I have to balance atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. So I look here, manganese, I have one manganese and here I have one manganese. So it doesn't need balancing for other atoms. Now I look at oxygen, the second step. Oxygen, I balance oxygen by adding water molecules. What does it mean? If I have four oxygen here and I have nothing here, so I just can add four water molecules. So I'll add four water molecules because O4 and four water molecules will give me four oxygens. So this is how I balance oxygen. Now I pass to hydrogen. Now I balance hydrogen adding H+. Here I don't have any hydrogen. Here I have eight hydrogen. So what I have to do, I can just add eight H plus. So manganese is balanced, oxygen is balanced, hydrogen is balanced. But I'm not done because the charge is not balanced. Here I have eight plus plus one minus seven plus. Here I have only two plus. So I need to balance the charge. How can I make the charge balanced? I cannot add positive charge. I can add negative charge to lower the positive charge. And negative charge it could be added using electrons. So now, if here I have 7+, plus, here I have 2+, plus, how can I make the 7+, plus 2+, plus? by adding 5 minus, and that's the 5 electrons. So now I'll do the same with the second half equation. Now this is much easier. Here I have iron, iron, so it's balanced. No oxygen or hydrogen to be balanced. The only thing I need to balance is the charge. Here I have two plus, here I have three plus. So how can I make the three plus two plus? By adding one electron. So now I'm going to sum these two reactions, or these two equations. Now, to sum these two equations, I need to make sure that I can cancel the number of electrons. Here I have five electrons to the reactant side, and here I have one electron to the product side. I need it to be five and five to cancel it. So what I can do, I can multiply this half equation by one, so basically it's going to stay the same. So see, one times one. Now here five, I can multiply this half equation by five. And now, the balanced redox reaction will be MnO4 minus plus, 
So I'll just stick to the reactants first. 5 Fe 2 plus. Okay. Now, 8 H plus. Okay, so I'm done with the reactants. Now remember that five electrons will cancel with the five times one electrons. And now I pass to the product side. So I have Mn2 plus plus five Fe3 plus plus four H2O. So let's look at the reaction now, if it's balanced. One manganese, one manganese. Five iron and five iron. I have four oxygen and four oxygen. Eight hydrogen and eight hydrogen. Let's look at the charge now if it's balanced. One minus plus ten plus, so that's nine plus. Plus 8 plus, that's 17 plus. Okay? Now, 2 plus, plus 15 plus, 17 plus. So this reaction is balanced. So this is how we can balance a redox reaction in acidic medium.